Hello everyone, this is Shannon from Not So Po, and today I am doing my anticipated releases for the fourth quarter, so October, November, and December of 2022. I've got 15 books on this list that I am super excited about. There were a ton of other things coming out in this quarter that sounded so great, but I've limited it to just my top 15. Um, and these are all based on the kind of publication dates that are listed on Goodreads. Obviously that can change, but based on what is anticipated, uh, these are the books that I am really, really looking forward to. First on October 4th is A Rover's Story by Jasmine Warga. Jasmine Warga is the author of Other Words for Home, which I have a review for, so I'll link below. Um, absolutely wonderful middle grade. So when I saw that she was coming out with a new book, I was super excited, especially because this is a sci-fi middle grade. So this is about a Mars rover who gets sent to Mars to do explorations and has to face some pretty intense situations there and also is dealing with sentience, is you know, developing emotions and all sorts of things. And so it's about this little rover story and it sounds so sweet. Also on October 4th is another middle grade I'm looking forward to, Where We Come From by John Coy, Shannon Gibney, Sun Young Shin, Diane Wilson, and illustrated by Dion MBD. So this is a poetry collection by all of these different authors from different backgrounds, different races, um, who are coming together to write poetry about kind of the, the origins of humanity, um, about you know where we come from in terms of the stars, but also about the ancestry and peoples that we have. And it sounds like it's illustrated really beautifully, and I just love middle grade poetry, so I'm very much looking forward to this. Next on October 11th is another middle grade I'm really looking forward to, which is Nikhil Out Loud by Malik Pancholi, who wrote The Best Did It, which was another middle grade that I loved. And this one is about an Indian American boy who is a voice actor and kind of semi-famous for this, but he ends up moving with his family to a small town in Ohio when they have to take care of his grandfather who is ill, and he has to just deal with a lot of adjustment there. I love contemporary middle grade that deals with issues like this and since I loved the previous book so much I know that this is gonna be a real hit. Also on October 11th is Season of Love by Helena Greer. This is a contemporary holiday romance that sounds so fun and sweet. It's about a woman who is Jewish and her great aunt owned a Christmas tree farm and left it to her when she passed away. And so she has to go and kind of help deal with this Christmas tree farm, which is in a bit of financial trouble. And she ends up having a little bit of a sparks fly with the manager of the Christmas tree farm. It sounds like like a really, really sweet sapphic romance, and I'm all here for it. Then on October 25th, we have Into the Riverlands by Ni Vo, which is the third novella in the Singing Hills cycle. I have standalone reviews for the first two books in this series, The Empress of Salt and Fortune and When the Tiger Came Down the Mountain, both of which I absolutely adored, so I am super excited about this one. And in this, we follow the cleric Chi again, who is going into the Riverlands and gets caught up in some feuds and interesting things happening there. I love this series and I cannot wait for this book. Also on October 25th is The White Mosque by Sophia Samatar. Sophia Samatar is somebody whose parents were Swiss Mennonite and Somali Muslim, and she uses this book to do kind of part memoir, but also part history, looking into um, basically a Mennonite missionary church that was built in Uzbekistan in I think the 18th or 19th century, and explore the history of the region of kind of the Mennonite missionaries and her own kind of personal history. It sounds like that beautiful mix of memoir and kind of cultural exploration that is something that works so well for me, so I'm super excited about this one. And one more book coming out on October 25th is The Stand-Up Groomsman by Jackie Lau, which is the sequel to Do Not Fall in Love, which I absolutely adored. I have a standalone review for that below. And this sequel follows um, one of the friends of the main characters uh, in the first book. And so basically these friends kind of got off on the wrong foot in the first book, but in the second book, um, they are thrown together a lot because their friends are getting married and they end up having some sparks fly. Uh, I just love Jackie Lau's writing and I cannot wait for this sequel. 
On November 1st, we have The Best of World SF, Volume 2, edited by Lavi Tadar. I had read the first volume of this and really enjoyed the stories, so I am excited about the second volume. It's just going to be an anthology of stories from all over the world, some translated, some written originally in English, and I just am excited to read more science fiction from all different places. Also on November 1st is Dislocations by Sylvia Malloy, who is an Argentinian author, translated from Spanish by Jennifer Croft. This is a novel about a woman whose friend is losing her memory and her language skills and the way that that causes um, their kind of relationship to, to start eroding, as well as the main character to really have to kind of be introspective about a lot of issues of identity and it sounds like it's going to be a really philosophical interesting story. Another one releasing on November 1st is I Want to Die But I Want to Eat Dokboki by Baek Sihi, translated from Korean by Anton Her. This is a memoir about a woman's kind of experiences going to therapy and dealing with depression and suicidal ideation. Um, I just love the title of this and I really like memoirs that are dealing with issues of grief or depression and it'll be really interesting to read about kind of this experience in Korean Korea as well. And one other book on November 1st is The World Keeps Ending, The World Goes On by Franny Choi. This is a poetry collection that sounds like it has such an interesting premise. Basically, Franny Choi is talking about how marginalized people have dealt with their world's ending through genocide and all sorts of things for such a long time, and yet they keep persisting. And so that ties that into this idea of everything that's going on in the world now, where it's a little bit getting apocalyptic apocalyptic, but how people still persist. And it sounds like it's going to be fascinating poetry. Then on November 8th is another poetry collection, To the North slash Al Norte by Leon Salvatierra, who is a Nicaraguan poet who came as an undocumented immigrant to the U.S. when he was a teenager, fleeing some of the kind of violence there. Um, and these poems are about that experience and about the experience of being an undocumented immigrant, and it sounds like it'll be really good poems. Also on November 8th is Africa Risen, edited by Cherie Renee Thomas, Olganek Chovwe, Donald Epecki, and Zelda Knight. This is an SFF short story anthology by African and Africa diasporic authors that sounds like it's just going to be full of a lot of great SFF short stories. On November 15th is A Pros and Cons List for Strong Feelings by Will Betka Brunswick, which is a graphic memoir about their experiences coming out as queer while also dealing with their mother's cancer diagnosis. And I love graphic memoirs and I love ones that deal with identity and with things like um, illness and grief. So I think this is going to be really good. And lastly, on December 6th, is How to Turn into a Bird by Maria Jose Ferrada, who is a Chilean author, translated from Spanish by Elizabeth Breyer. And this is a story about a boy who spends a lot of time with his uncle, who takes care of and also lives on a billboard, and the way that being up there sort of changes their perspective on the world. Okay, so those are my top 15 anticipated releases for the fourth quarter of 2022, so October, November, and December, and this really is not a complete list. There are so many things being released, especially in October, so many books that I wanted to add to this list, but I'm limiting myself to 15. Um, but oh man, there's so many good books coming out. If you guys are interested in any of these, or if you want to share with me what you're interested in that is going to be coming out in the last quarter of this year, I'd love to hear from you. Just leave me a comment down below.